All right, we are here at Red Dragon Cove Mini Golf in downtown Myrtle Beach, one of Myrtle Beach's newest miniature golf courses. Yep. I think it was like 2023 that made. Yeah, I think it just opened last year. And it looks like a beautiful course. It looks like we're gonna have a great time. They have two 18 hole courses here. Cancun Lagoon. And right next door is Cancun Lagoon, so you can't pass it, it's on the main drag. PJ, let's go, man. Hello. Doing good, good. Okay, we are doing the Marauders Challenge course. That's the harder of the two courses. But as soon as you come out, look how beautiful it is. You got these two beautiful fountains and a waterfall. Oh, we got a little putting green action going on so we can get the lay of the land. No, you gotta read the greens, man. You gotta, you gotta see how fast your putts are gonna be. Get our little test putt action. Are they fast? They look like they could be a little bit fast. All right, give it a little tippity tap. Oh yeah, that's just a little tap that went a little, little far. All right, so here we go. Here's where uh, Frank banks off here. The Marauders Challenge and the Pirates Plank. We're going to the Marauders Challenge, hole number one. So this looks like a pretty straightforward hole. It's a little uphill, but you gotta go through these planks. And that's where it could get a little bit challenging. Oh, oh, you made it through. And back out. Oh dear. So in and out. I would set yourself up for a three. Well, maybe you have a shot. I don't know. I think you're going to have to go with the four now. All right. Now let's see if you can finish out for a four. This hole is harder than it looks with these planks. Oh, it's a little wet from the rain yesterday. They need a little bit better drainage. All right. Hole number two. Oh dear. So let's take a look at hole number two here. So if we're going along here, they've got two like roughs down here, and I guess they have some drainage issues. So yeah, it's going uphill. Oh, I'm telling you, those greens are fast. Oh, that was a good one. You got a solid three on this one. Boom. All right. Yeah, two challenging holes so far. Buddha. Over 300 years ago, the pirate king queen came here to seek Buddha to find peace, clarity, and free your mind of the fog illusions of greed, hate, and ignorance. Buddha is one who is free of fog. Okay, fair enough. Now we know a little bit about Buddha. So it looks like if you go off to the right, it winds around and through there, or you go to the left and it just comes down. I'm thinking you might want to go to the right. I don't know. You just never know with these things. You gave it a good whack and you're going off to the right. Does it have enough oomph? Is that like a hill? Is it a hill? Is it going to go out? Or did it get stuck? I think it got stuck. That's poor course management right there where you've got a little bit of a ramp, but then the ball is going down and gets stuck. Poor course management. Poor course design. I say because the ramp, there was an obstruction in that hole. That should still be your second shot. As far as I'm concerned, this is your second shot because you should not have gotten stuck on the ramp in a non-playable zone. Oh my gosh. It's totally cool though. We're just having fun today, folks. 
All right. Okay, so three holes in. What are you thinking of the course so far, dude? Hard. And very fast. Good scenery. Yeah. Okay, okay. so hole number four. Whoa, almost falling here. Hole number four. Downhill and to the right. Gave it a little tippy tap. Get a good bounce. Get a good bounce. Not bad at all. Now, can you finish with the two? Yeah, that tiny little tippy tap. All the way down. All right, solid two. A deuce. We're going up. Let's go. We got some steps. Making our way up the rocks here. Like I said, it's a beautiful course. It's well maintained. The main focus is the big rock formation with waterfalls. Oh, look at that. They're glazing the rocks over there. It's a fresh little coat of paint. Oh, I don't want to definitely go. I'm going over here. Okay. I mean, like... yeah. He's going the hard route. Will it pay off? Not bad. You just missed it by about six okay. inches. This is probably one of the easier holes if you can get your two. Booyah! He's on a roll, getting the twos. Oh, heck, look at this one, though. Dude, this is like a double jumper. You gotta clear this first ramp, or else you're going in the drink. But then you gotta get it up over a second hump, but not hit it super hard so it goes off the course. You got those beautiful waterfalls in the background. Okay. Oh, there's one. That's what I was afraid of. Oh man, I got whacked in the leg. He knocked it right off the course. Oh dude, I think I've re-hit that. It, it hit my leg. I think you get a mulligan. I say, when I play golf, you get one mulligan per nine holes. I'm going mulligan on that one. So you gotta hit it hard, but not too hard. That might be the one. No! Ow! He did it again, he hit my foot! No! He's hard, you have to like, not. All right, I think they should third time's a charm, let's go. Come on, you got this. You got it. They need higher walls, so yeah. Another poor course design here, because on something like this, you should have a higher a higher wall, and it's really not, so the balls just keep going off, and he's not hitting a bad shot. Oh, there you go, that was a gentle shot. That was the one right there. You really gotta hit it gentle. I think I was overestimating that, because that's the game that it's happened, I got over, like, I don't like that. Yeah, so you really didn't have to hit that one that hard. Oh, definitely need to go with the higher walls. Maybe a two brick layout on this hole or something. All right, here we go. Okay, on to the next hole. Pirates beware, stay out of the water as you follow the Pirate Queen's triumphs over many islands. So, got these waterfalls off to your left Beautiful, serene green right in front of us. Hole number seven. Oh. Round and round she goes. Where she stops, you never know. It's all good. He's winding up. He's got that whipple ball stance going. There you go. Hole number eight. We're almost halfway done. We give you a nice little seat here. Oh, uh oh, this is one of those multi-tier ones. There's three holes. Which one are you hitting for? 
Oh, we're going for the middle because that's usually the one you go for. Oh, it's looking good. Will it stay there? Oh, oh, it stayed. He's gonna be in the middle, folks. We got the middle hole. We hit the middle hole. Will we get a hole in one? Go in. Come on, get in the hole. Oh, dude. That should have been a hole in one. Heck with that. Uh-oh, he's giving it the old cue ball tap. All right, on number nine, we have yet to see a hole-in-one here, but this looks like probably our best opportunity for a hole-in-one so far. Okay, a little tap, you gotta get it in that middle hole. That's a little more than a tap. You might go off the back, dude. Uh-oh, yeah, you went up the ramp. No bueno. That's going to set you up for a very bad second shot unless you get it right in that hole. Ooh! He nailed it! He nailed that multi-tier shot. High five, dude. High five. Yes. I kind of like barely hit it. <laughs> yeah, I kind of like uh, barely dropped my ball. Ooh, this is a beauty of a hole. Look at this. We've got some Asian trees up in the background. We've got some beautiful water flowing. We got a beautiful Myrtle Beach day here, folks. Got mid 80s rolling, sunshine. You know what? I think, I think you want to hit it up in the water. I think you want to hit it up in the. I think you want to go for the waterfall, man. That's it. I think, yeah, we're going for the waterfall. Let's see what happens. Is it coming? All right. Well, that was the play. So the play is to hit it up into the waterfall and let it come back down. Boom, another two. I would say for the challenging course, you're doing pretty good. You missed a couple little easy ones, but overall, you're having a great round, man. There's that pirate ship we've got that faces US-17 Kings Highway. The junk ship. I guess that maybe that's one of the holes. Ooh, this is a putt and a half, dude. You either go up over these multi-tier things to the right or you try to ride the ramp up and go for the hole in one. He rode the ramp up, he got it. Good shot. PJ with the great shot on that one. That took courage and it paid off for another two. See, hole in ones are great for show, but putting for two brings you the dough, if you know what I mean. Going into the cave. All right, we got some lighting in the cave. Oh, we've got some digital signage. So this is a pretty straightforward yeah. hole here, but oh, it's like over there. Yeah, if you putt through, why would you putt through there? Oh, dude, I think your ball, if your ball ends up coming over to the right, it's gonna shoot it all the way back down. Do you think I should try that? No, I think you need to get it up near the hole. Okay. I think you need to make a good little putt and get it up near the hole. Well, hole in one, hole in one, you did it. That's our first hole in one. Yeah, but man, if you missed it, so it would go down there and I think it would have rolled all the way back if you didn't get it. Sweet, we have a hole in one. Hey dad, that's- First two, one's on the board. That's two hole in ones in the caves. Remember? That's right. One in Mount Atlanticus, now one in that cave. That's right. Oh, we got a fun little bridge here. We get to cross over a bridge. Oh, it's a swinging bridge. This is fun. Very cool indeed. Oh, this is like one of those uh, Plinko holes. You just give it a ride and see where it ends up. You kind of went off to the side. Oh, it's going to ride the rails. No hole in one on that one.
Yeah. I'm just riding it down with you, bud. Oh, we missed the two. The one and two streak is over. This should have been an easy hole, though. Little misplay. We got the three. Booyah. Let's go. Hole 14. This is another, they're really big on the multi-tiered holes. So you're gonna have to try to get it down. Oh, you're down one ramp. You didn't make it down the second. Yeah, this would be a very hard two, but you, you're a master of these multi-tier putts. No, no, you did it. Oh my gosh. That is your second multi-tier freaking two. That is awesome, dude. You absolutely own that putt. All right, on to hole 15. Uh-oh, he's gonna give it a love tap to get into that volcano. I think you hit it too hard. Oh, man. It seems like that should be an easy hole in one, but not so much. Oh, 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 that was luck. That was such luck. All right. Oh man, so you're going for a weird crazy shot. This is hole number 16. We've got three holes left. Whoa, let's, let's redo that here. <laughs> mulligan, this is your back nine mulligan. Got it down the ramp. That's a good shot. That was a good mulligan, I think. Very good. That's it. Another two. There he is with his wiffle ball stance again. So we have got two holes left. What's your overall take of the course so far, bud? Well, good scenery. Some bad maintenance, but like pretty good overall. So, really fast green. Yeah. Okay, we've got two holes left. Definitely know where I'm in now. Hole 17 is another multi tiered hole here. I think you give me a hole in one, and that's bad maintenance. So, wait. Poor course design, so, all right, if you get it in this log, it goes down hopefully for a hole in one. But you gotta hit it just right. Oh, 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 we got it down the hole. It does not give you a hole in one. You hit it through the hole that you think would give you a hole in one, but it does not. That is fairly poor course design. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna test it and see if it's possible. We're gonna go back through there again. Nope, it misses. That is that's sad. I mean, that's poor course design. When you've got that pipe, which should take you for the hole in one. If you're watching this, you're gonna go play Red Dragon. Do not go through that pipe. You're better off not going through the pipe because you will not get the hole in one. Yeah. So a couple little hiccups, but overall it's a nice course. They, they keep it really upkept. Um, yeah, it's got some cool statues, some great little waterfalls, stuff like that. And hole number 18. This looks like a doozy. You just gave it a whack to get it up that hill. No! Oh! Another hole in one! And that is on a super tough hole! Hole 18! Hole in one. Woo! And your ball is gone. Is that all the holes? That's all the holes. That's 18 holes, oh. man. You did it. You got two hole in ones and VR 360 high five. That went fast. What a round. That was a fast hole. Or 
fast round of mini golf. Well, there was not really that many people in front of us. So here we are, we are back at the temple, the Kuil. You have successfully traveled the lands once conquered by the Pirate Queen and she thanks you for playing. So, all right, let's go check out the lobby, return our putter and call it a day here at Red Dragon Cove Mini Golf. Oh. All right, thank you so much. All right. Got some wonderful oriental ceiling tiles here. All right, now that we are out, we gotta give this a rating. Zero to 10 for the challenging Marauders course here at Red Dragon Cove Mini Golf. I thought it was pretty challenging. You thought? It was, for some of the holes. Like, most of the holes were kind of challenging. I just messed up. Not yeah, you had some bad shots. You also, like, some were bad maintained, like that one over there. Not bad. We shouldn't say bad maintained. Like, we should say poor course design. Yeah. They, they could use, like, a little tweak in the course design where the ball was flying off, where it wasn't hit that hard where the hole-in-one holes weren't dropping in for hole-in-ones. Stuff like that, right? Yeah. All right, well, from my perspective, even though I was just the videographer today, I didn't play, you know, I'm giving this course, I'm gonna give it a 7-2 out of 10. I think I'm going 7-2. I'd say 7-2, yeah. It's... A 7 -two. you're also going with the 7-2? Yeah. I think, I think it was, they, they had some cool multi-tier holes. It's maintained well. They could have used more obstacles, um, maybe some more, uh, like, I don't know, like kitschy kind of animatronic things, maybe a little bit more theming because they, they went with the Asian theming. Uh, but then once you got onto the course, it wasn't so much a couple signs, you know, try to like tell you about Asian culture and things. You had to ship out front, but at least our course didn't go through the ship. We went up through that waterfall. But, hey, good course. I, I kind of enjoyed it. I enjoyed videotaping it. And PJ hopefully enjoyed playing it. Yeah. All right, until our next mini golf adventure, I am Sean signing out. I'm PJ signing out. Aloha, everybody. Peace.